Leonardo da Vinci is often celebrated as a Renaissance man due to his exceptional intelligence, which contributed to advancements in various fields of study and the arts. However, Leonardo also reflected on the transience of life, expressing his concern about being forgotten after death. He once remarked that while he thought he was learning how to live, he was actually learning how to die, a profound insight into the nature of existence. In a similar vein, the passage referencing Jesus' words in John 12, 12, 19 draws parallels between the concept of death and rebirth. By likening the process to a kernel of wheat falling to the ground and producing many seeds, Jesus symbolically spoke of the transformative power of death leading to new life. This idea is further developed in the writings of the Apostle Paul, who emphasized the significance of being buried with Christ in order to experience a spiritual rebirth and a new way of living. The quote by C.T. Studd, Only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last, underscores the importance of living a life aligned with one's values and beliefs. It prompts us to reflect on the true worth of our actions and how they contribute to a meaningful existence. By questioning our relationship with God and the extent of our surrender to His will, we are encouraged to reevaluate our priorities and make choices that align with our spiritual purpose. Ultimately, the passage urges individuals to consider the eternal significance of their actions and the impact of living a life rooted in faith and service. It challenges us to reassess our values, priorities, and level of dedication to living a life that reflects our beliefs and honors our spiritual journey. Galatians 2.20 is a verse from the New Testament of the Bible, written by the Apostle Paul in a letter to the Galatian Christians. The verse articulates a deep spiritual transformation and union with Christ. Here's a breakdown of its meaning. I have been crucified with Christ. This signifies that the believer's old self, with its sinful nature, has been symbolically put to death with Christ's crucifixion. It's an expression of dying to sin and the old way of life. And I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. This indicates that the believer's identity and source of life are now found in Christ. Instead of living for oneself, the believer lives according to Christ's will. Christ's values, character, and presence are now central in the believer's life. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God. Although the believer continues to exist physically in this world, their life is now directed and sustained by faith in Jesus Christ. This means trusting in Jesus' teachings, guidance, and redemptive work. Who loved me and gave himself for me. This underscores the personal and sacrificial love of Jesus. It highlights that Jesus' love was demonstrated through his self-giving act on the cross, emphasizing the personal relationship between the believer and Jesus. In essence, Galatians 2.20 is about the profound transformation that occurs when a believer accepts Christ. The old life dominated by sin is considered dead, and a new life characterized by the presence and influence of Christ begins. The passage encourages Christians to live out their faith actively, guided by the love and sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Let's pray. Father, as we come before you, we express our gratitude that through our union with Christ, we have been freed from our old sinful nature. This freedom allows us to move forward with purpose, unburdened by the chains of our past. We thank you, Lord, that as we surrender ourselves completely to you, it is no longer our own lives that we live, but Christ living within us. We recognize that our earthly existence is temporary, but we find assurance in the eternal life granted to us through the sacrifice of your Son on the cross. Help us, Lord, to daily let go of our selfish desires and egos. May we not be controlled by our sinful inclinations as we navigate through each day. As we commit this time to you, we ask for your strength to continually die to ourselves and live in alignment with your will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.